Good morning, everyone. Welcome to a Lonely Fanboys mini-sode. I'm Joe. I'm Seth. And it is 9.42. It's very early for two not early risers. <laughs> Why are we up this early, Joe? Well, I woke up uh, 10 minutes ago. I saw that Nintendo released a surprise direct, and I said, hey, let's release a little mini-sode. So I put on a shirt. I put on my gross hoodie that's now clean. And hey, good. Uh, yeah. And, uh, and bug my best buddy, Seth. And uh, let's, let's react to this little direct. Yeah, you, uh, you count it down for us. All right. Uh, do you, and uh, do you want to just talk through it or do you want to pause if need be? Oh, if we can we, pause if we need okay, to. Okay, sure. Or we could just yeah. maybe talk. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Okay. Um, All right. Here we go. In three, two, one, go. A nice statement from our dear friends at Nintendo. Yeah, that's very nice of them to just, you know, be plain about it. A mini direct, it's all about amiibos. Yeah, but still Amiibo 30 minutes, movie. so it's like, that's still a lot of time. Did you like my good amiibo joke? Long ago. Good job, Seth. Two great <laughs> titans came into existence. The Bionis and the Maconis. The titans were locked in a timeless battle. I already know what this is, but it feels Last, very Pokemon-like. Yes. <laughs> only their lifeless I'm the same thing. remained. Yeah. About damn time. Yeah. Have you ever played any of these games? Huh? No. This can't be. I'm not like an anime video game person. Not... Yeah. I mean, like, I, I've really enjoyed Fire Emblem Three Houses, and I think that's great. Um, and of course, Pokemon, in terms of like, I, is, is Pokemon a JRPG? I guess I don't really know that. I mean, if it's not, it's very close. Yeah, right? Yeah. There was something strange. It was as if I could see into the future. I know you won't believe this, but Shulk can see the future. I didn't know you could do that. It's not me. It's the power of the Monado. <laughs> and so it begins. Yeah. Yeah. Resurrection of the Bionis. I've been waiting for the Naruto boy. The Naruto boy. <laughs> yeah. So I can use this power to I mean, I'm really excited to like see some of these exactly characters show up in Smash and me still not know who they are. Yep. Exactly. It's not over. Oh man, do you think they announced the, the fighter pass too with this guy? Ooh. Is Shulk in uh, Smash yet? I don't think so. Right? Is that his yeah. name? Shulk, yeah. He was in previous Smashes. Was he? I think so. Hmm, I didn't know that. Maybe he is. Maybe I'm just a bad Smash player. Yeah, I am too. Future Connect. Future I mean, it looks very pretty. It looks super pretty. If the capital is on the shoulder, there are people there. I've heard a lot of people say that they wished the second game was a lot more like the first game. Mm, so I know a okay. lot of fans of the first game are very excited about this, just because okay. they didn't really care for the first, the second one. The ultimate version of a modern classic, Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. On Nintendo Switch, Running. the game looks better and plays smoother than ever nice. before. Nice. Turn-based combat. The battle HUD and menu screens are easy to read Sorrow? and easy to It'll, use. Uh, yeah. Costumes. And some of the music has been re-recorded. So many numbers. So many numbers. Oh, gosh. Immerse in the majesty of this vast world. <laughs> Jumping off a cliff. Wow. Jeez. <laughs> and a new epilogue. A new story. Future Connected will cap off the main game. So if you've played and loved the original game, you can not only revisit it, but look forward to one more adventure with Shulk. This is not for me, but I'm very happy for the people that it yeah. is for. 
Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition launches on May 29th. Nice. And you can oh, wow. The game Wait, like in three today. days? Oh, no, that's also March. No, on May. May 29th, <laughs> Good morning. Set will pack in a 250-page art book. That's nice. Ooh, pretty. Very pretty. I'm sure that's cool. Yeah, I, I bet. I mean, Nintendo if somebody Mini. gave it to me, it's Hello. not like I would say no. Right, exactly. Nintendo Switch games. And we're focusing on a selection of them coming out this year. We'll start a P.O. box soon. Yeah. <laughs> we go. We'll do unboxings. We'll just yeah. become an unboxings channel. There we go. Today's most beloved series are coming soon to the Nintendo Switch system. Oh, is Seth going to be happy? We're going to find out. Oh, 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 <gasps> oh. Are you ahead of me? Might be. I'm at 445. Oh, no. Okay. You're in the same place. Yeah, that was that was Bioshock and Borderlands. What? Yeah. Okay, ready? Let's keep going. We're 445. Oh, I'm ahead now. Oh, okay. I paused. For you. Wait, where did you see Bioshock and Borderlands? What? Okay, let's go back uh, to 421. Sorry, folks. <laughs> We're doing this very jerry-rigged. It's our first time. Cut us some slack. Okay, 421. 421. Three, okay. two, one, go. See? Bioshock and no. Borderlands. Where? What? What are you talking about? Nintendo Direct Mini 32620? I am watching the Nintendo UK one. Oh, okay. You silly boy. Uh, that is why. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Okay, there was there was more Xenoblade stuff in the UK one. They oh, like, interesting. They ha they have like a more extensive collector's edition. Yeah, it's probably because we don't care. <laughs> oh, yeah. well, oh well, let's talk about that really quick. So uh, we're we paused really quick for technical difficulties, but uh, you said that the UK version had more Xenoblade stuff. What was in that? Yeah. Um, okay. Right here. Uh, so there was. Um, I, I guess I, I haven't looked at what's in the US one because I was watching the wrong yeah, video okay. for four minutes. Um, there were, yeah, there was, I don't know, just like more stuff. I wasn't paying attention to it because I'm like not, sure. it's not my jam. Okay. Um, but th there was like a lot of really pretty posters and. Oh, wow. Was, was there was there this like vinyl record thing? No. Oh, wow. yeah. There's, there's this cool like collector's edition like vinyl record. <sighs> um, yeah, it was, it okay. was cool. Yeah, I was we, loving it. And then you started talking about Borderlands and sorry. Bioshock. And, sorry, yeah. we just had a, 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 an art book. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, that there was, was literally there was, it. There's way more than that in the Freaking uh, in the Nintendo European of America. Edition. They think we don't yeah. want these things, but we want these things. We do want these things. <laughs> All right. Ready, 412 in yep. the American version? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Here we go. And three, two, one, go. Hi everyone, and welcome to Nintendo Direct Mini. We've got news on upcoming Nintendo Switch games, and we're focusing on a selection of them coming out this year. Now, let's roll through some headlines, shall we? Okay. Uh, Three of 2K's okay. most beloved wow. series are coming soon to the Nintendo Switch system. I think system. I'm on the right one now. 2K? We're starting 2K, now? Yep. Yes, 2K, heart, okay. Okay, Nintendo Switch go. icon. Ah! Yes, okay, there, there we, we go. go. <laughs> I understand. Oh my gosh, look at this. <laughs> wow, it's Bioshock and Borderlands. I know. Have you cool. played the Bioshock games before? I haven't. Oh, you're going to have to pick this up. Yeah. Because it's the collection. It's all of them, and they're all amazing. Oh, wow. it's so perfect. Nice. Is the Legendary Collection 1 and 2? I think it's 1 and 2 and the pre-sequel. Oh, cool. I might that, have to get this again. <laughs> I was like, I'm pretty sure that's what I got on the PlayStation. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Oh, XCOM. Ooh, XCOM, wow. All right. I know someone probably who's gonna be really, really good happy on the about that. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Is this Destiny? Have you seen those videos of like. Oh no, is this just more like, XCOM? Sorry, what? Uh, have you seen those videos of like the point blank shots in XCOM that miss? No. 
where you like you have like a 95% chance to hit and you're like pointing your gun at the alien's head like you're, it's on the alien's head and then your character just like jerks to the side. It's very, oh, it's May. very funny. That's super funny. Old enemies face off in a new oh, trailer here we for go. the Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3 The Black Order Expansion Pass. Okay. I don't play this game. Yeah. This just feels a little icky because like the huge appeal to the original games was just like seeing all of the characters all together. Yeah. And now having to pay for like extra characters, especially like the, the Fantastic Four. That just... <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, I can't wait to spend $20 on getting the Fantastic Four. Right. Is it just the Fantastic Four? Because that's so lame. <laughs> I hope you get more than that. You probably get a bunch of cosmetic stuff. We have a universe to save. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> Fantastic Four movie when? Yeah, no kidding. Doom always prevails. Gross. Okay. Shadow of Doom. All right. Oh, it literally you is. Wait. Must become a god himself. Okay. In the darkest depths of the ocean lies a really it's fun game. Into the depths. Is this new? I don't you know this one. Yeah, I don't race, know about this. Forced by a global winter into an unexplored aquatic world. In this deep sea Whoa. exploration game, you collect resources to upgrade your gear, <laughs> craft items. It's and not dive Subnautica. Into yeah. As you explore increasingly hostile environments, you better watch those oxygen and pressure levels. It's just Subnautica as a platformer. Enough, yeah. Shizukai's time attack mode, another dive, boasts a perilous maze for you to race through, Whoa, okay, culminating okay, with cool. a final monstrous threat. Uh -huh. You know, it can get pretty heavy down there, so why not lighten the mood with the jukebox feature? It lets you remix the game's background music by modifying audio filters. That's cool. That sounds like something you'd like. To yeah. I can just be like surface. an undersea DJ. Shizukai, I'm into that. Oh, cool. Is on Nintendo Switch today. I, could, I could be an undersea DJ right now. Right now. If it's like 15. Oh, oh yay. Here we go. Update. If that's like 15, I might like check that out. Enjoying but island life in the yeah, it's important. New Horizons game? There's a telescope. Well, I need that. You're already living it up on the island or you're still planning your departure. There's an event coming up and we're happy to spill the Ooh. beans or crack the eggs. Eggs. You see, after downloading the free update we made available at launch, one zipper T bunny will visit your <gasps> island in celebration of bunny day in early April. Yay. Oh, bunny day. <laughs> Can you hunt down the eggs zipper in everywhere? Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> they're, they're in the water? They're in the water. You can craft these special limited time items from the egg series. Cute. The bunny day event only comes it's once a year. It's midsummer. This time from April 1st to April 12th. So be sure to participate. April 1st. And guess two. what? There's another free update coming later yes. in April. Yay! It'll usher in some newly added features, including the Earth Day event. Wow. Of nice. Course, we'll continue to bring you the latest on updates and more via the official Animal Crossing Twitter account Ooh. and other channels, too. That might I'm getting being back into Twitter, Seth. <laughs> <laughs> that might end up being the best part of this game. It's just like how they the update it throughout the whole year. Else about your life on the deserted island. Oh, that's great. I'm excited about that. Yeah, that's exciting. Hey, look, someone's hiring. <laughs> oh, thank God. Good, we're all unemployed. This is really oh, poorly timed. Yeah. Company? Apparently, they offer a <laughs> wide range of services. The job description entails many responsibilities. Do you miss you going to work items, already? <laughs> mop the floor <laughs> and maintain a comfortable work environment. They're trusting you with crane operation and other tough tasks. Uh-oh, that projector won't do. Hmm, think you can take care of that? Whether you conduct yourself in a professional manner or opt for more creative solutions. <laughs> oh, okay, that's good. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, is this multiplayer? That's Hopefully what I want to know. Ready to join that's... The team and be put to work immediately because good job launches oh. today. Another one that if it's cheap, I would get it. Right. Catherine, oh, Body, nice. The mature action adventure puzzler is coming to Nintendo Switch. 
contemplating the next step in his relationship. Commitment phobic Vincent. That's an understatement. <laughs> love. Looks like poor Vincent's caught in a love quadrangle with Catherine. Catherine with a C and Rin. Little does he know, temptation might lead to his own demise. In this cult classic, your choices will affect how their relationships unfold, and it only gets weirder. Deservedly, not only is Vincent Rin Have you played this before? The day, no, I've seen some people speedrun so it, I think. It's pretty cool. Every night, his nightmares consist of a crumbling tower of puzzle blocks that he must climb. Yeah. It's like to survive and see another day. Like JRPG Cubert. Yeah. <laughs> intense and intoxicating And story. also dating sim? When yeah. Dating sim Cubert. Nintendo Switch yeah. on July 7th. Cool. Yeah. A free update for the Ring Fit Adventure game Ooh. will pump up its audio. I need to get this. Yeah, me too. Let's get those home workouts going. Yeah, totally. <laughs> Mix things up with the new. Oh, this is mode. cool. If you want to set a high cool. score, you got to get your body moving to the beat. Speaking of, there are 17 music tracks in the rhythm. Dang, game. this looks fun. We're we couldn't get Beat Saber, Super so we made our own. Yeah, Splatoon pretty much. And the Legend of Zelda. Okay, but we Breath do have Just Wild. Dance 2020, which we know I'm in love with. That's fair. Whoa. On top of that. <gasps> Hello? I feel my power returning! Ew. <laughs> Your companion, Ring, will now have a female voice option. Oh. Nicely done. Move. Amgar! And you'll also be able to change languages. Oh, cool. Feel free to change it up in the settings whenever you want. Learn French while you work out. <laughs> We're also adding in a new jogging option in both the custom and quick play modes. When you're not in a battling mood, you can simply run through a variety of fields. That's fun. Yeah. This free update for the Ring Fit Adventure game will be available today. It's good that's it makes free. Me consider getting Ring Fit Adventure. Yeah. 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 Better open the gates, one treasured TRPG approaches. Is this the King Arthur games? Since 1990, the King's Bounty oh. series has oh. been influencing the evolution of Western RPGs. I don't RPGs. know this one. Do you know this one? And now it's back no. with a fresh look and a new approach. This straight up sequel will pit army against army, sending the player on a quest around the world to save the world. This time, the graphics are more realistic. Your huh. choices are more than ever. Yeah. And so does the terrain you stand on. So master your surroundings like the master strategist you are. Across the land, you'll meet new people whose ethics and affinities are informed by the new character development system. Find out just how deep the gameplay will get when King's Bounty 2 launches on Nintendo Switch in 2020. Okay. That could be fun. Yeah. Super Smash Brothers Here Ultimate News approaches. Uh oh. The fighter included in Wave Six of the paid Super Smash Brothers Ultimate DLC oh, man. will be. Oh man! Oh man! Here we go. I don't know the song. Oh. <laughs> That's smart. This fighter is a bit unusual. That's great. Is it all of them? So we'll have to wow. extend our development time too. Oh okay, sure. Please stay tuned for just a bit longer. That's okay. The next spider will be announced and released this June. Wow. Oh, okay. So it's one of them. Maybe like I don't know. Don't miss this arms game trial. Ooh, cool. A free game trial of arms will be available exclusively to Nintendo. Hey Joe, you want to play arms? Members. Actually, yeah. These elite fighting superstars share one thing in common: extendable <laughs> arms. So equip super powered arms to create a slew of combinations. Honestly, if this game were like for 30 bucks, time, I probably would have gotten it by now. For free. Yeah. Now, let's get started. Yeah, let's try this. Yeah. Totally. We got nothing but time. Exactly. It's pretty fun. Right. I've played like the free demo now and it's it's okay. not bad. Long look at Bravely Default 2. Bravely Default 2. <sighs> where what are we doing on time? Where am I? Wow, we're barely even halfway done. This is pretty long. Yeah, this is not a mini direct. I I wonder if they just couldn't get like any of the like they couldn't get Masahiro Sakurai in or anything oh. because of COVID, so they just like yeah called it a Water, mini. Wind, earth, 
Nature's masters. But everything changed when the yeah. attacked. <laughs> yeah. And if unleashed, would bring down death, disaster, calamity, and blight upon the land. Heroes of light, may the crystals guide you. This is hey, one of their characters' name is Seth. <laughs> Now I'm into it. Then I've done the right thing. But I didn't play the first one. <laughs> this tale unfolds on the continent of excellent. Wow, this is Avatar. Five mighty kingdoms. Yeah. Five. The saga begins when our completely hero different. Seth, a young the hero is Zeth. I have to play it. <laughs> Well, at least I'm alive. Yeah, me too, he, buddy. <laughs> he meets Gloria of Musa, a princess who was forced to flee her kingdom when it was destroyed by evil forces bent on stealing its crystals. Ah, oh, me too. I'm Gloria. Okay. <laughs> there we go. No, no I'm that guy. <laughs> he also encounters two <laughs> Is this our next cosplay? <laughs> I guess. And magical book, Elvis and Adele. Wow. His name's just Elvis? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Or anything. I'm just here because he Elvis and Adele. As if guided, the greatest singing team up of all time. <laughs> yeah. And set off together on a grand mission, each filled with a sense of purpose. But there will be those who stand in their way. Those who have gotten hold of special items known as asterisks. These stones allow their holders to take on jobs. He looks just like a character like from One Piece. Becoming infinitely huh, more yeah. powerful in the process. Okay, let's do this. I shall steal it all. Every last treasure in the Empire. Oh, he's a pirate. During battle, you must decide when to use Brave Points or BP, the lifeblood of the game's turn-based system. The key to victory lies in knowing when to use the brave and default commands. Aha, Choose hence the name of the game. To spend BP in order to allow characters to perform additional actions. Choose default to order a character to guard, reclaiming a BP in the process. I'm sure this is going to be at least like 30. And I just don't want to do that if I don't have Pokemon yet. Yeah. Your character's roles and statuses at all times. Should you manage to fell an asterisk or like uh, the Final Fantasy 7 remake? Allow you to take on the associated job. Yeah. Jobs can I'm just so uninterested by turn-based combat that is yeah. not Pokemon. Yeah. The development of your characters. Yeah, I mean, I don't know the game, but from the looks of it, you just have these four characters the entire time. And I like being able to like customize my team at some point and like Yeah, exactly. And in the near future, oh, there's a demo available today. Alright. And incorporate what we can okay. as we So I will play as Seth for thirty minutes. Yep. <laughs> and then and that will that will be my fill. Yep. yep. The latest entry in Square Enix's beloved series, Bravely Default 2, will release this year. Okay. Yeah. Okay, Square. You know what we all want you to make. Hope you're having fun. Let's keep this good news train a moving. Kingdom Hearts 4. Tabletop classics from yes. around the world will come together yes. on Nintendo Ooh, Switch. Tabletop. What is this? <laughs> okay. Is pool a tabletop? Uh, I think it's about to be in a yeah. Okay. Presenting every single game included in this massive new collection of fun. I can finally learn to play Go. Yeah. Oh, Mancala, Mancala. that's fun. Hanafuda, Backgammon, Renegade. It's Chapters. that's Othello. Yeah. <laughs> to those Dominance, to those of us in the states. Speed, Hare and Hounds, Ooh. Blackjack, Four in a Row, Chess, Shogi, Mini Shogi, Ludo, Richie Mahjong, Sevens. Golf, darts, Texas Hold'em, nine men's more. You know, the tabletop game golf. War, yeah. Terror, Chinese checkers, <laughs> yacht dice, takoyaki, billiards, hex, spider solitaire, gomo. Wow, calm down. Matching, oh my gosh. Bowling, shooting gallery, slot cards, dots and boxes, hit and blow, pig's tail, 
Mahjong Solitaire, Last Card, wow. Fishing, Klondike Solitaire, Toy Tennis, Toy Soccer, Toy Curling, Holy Toy cow. Boxing, Toy Baseball, Battle Tanks, Team Tanks, Sliding Puzzle, and Six Ball Puzzle. Phew, that really is 51 games. And there are many ways to play them. Some games are multiplayer, including options for up to four people, playing via local wireless, and in some cases, online play is supported too. In some cases? Choose three games, yep. match up with other it's players, gonna be important. and just play. With yeah, ones. Play to your I mean, is it like... ...against rivals the world over. When Clubhouse Games, 51 Worldwide Classics... Is it like Mario Party, where you only get to play a few of them online? Pre yeah, probably. Today. Like, I guess, like, fishing, that's fine, if I can't do fishing, but like... Will the real master Ninja okay, but also, there was a bowling game in there. What is can this? We, can we just have oh, Wii Bowling so on the Switch? The ultimate yeah, no Ninja, kidding. Are you? Well then, prove it in battle. Ooh. As one of eight players, <laughs> you must earn the most points to claim victory. Now see this I'm into. Sprint I'm totally into this. Stages and show off your gum ninja Whoa. suit like only you can. Oh, I'm going to be so bad at this. Me too, By but this looks so gum, fun. You can dash at high speed. <laughs> wow. Oh, I like this. Disguise yourself. <laughs> and wield an arsenal of skills. And speaking of arsenals, from heady hitting hammers to fast and flashy katanas to tactical tricked out yo-yos, your choice of equipment could mean the difference between domination and defeat. Ninjas thrive in clans, so cement your supremacy in four-on-four -four team battles that prove ninjas are most clever when they work together. <laughs> This is well, just like a match of disaster. Overwatch, but everybody's playing as Genji. <laughs> yep. When Ninjala sneaks up on Nintendo Switch, oh, I was hoping that was a surprise hey, drop. It's free to play too. Yeah. Oh, it's free to play. Oh, dope. nice! Wow, I love that. We should give that a shot. Yeah, we should. Enter Luke Skywalker's <laughs> Jedi Academy to learn the ways of the Force. Nice. Customize your look. Play a role in this. I was Star hoping this would be a Jedi battle royale. For oh, that'd be crazy. Players. Star Wars Jedi Knight Jedi Academy launches on Nintendo Switch. Do you watch Spawn Wave at all? Oh, later today. To nice. Yeah. Star Wars Do you watch Spawn Wave Racer at all? Is coming no. Soon. He's really good. You should check him out. Um, dragon riding classic, but he said that's the like the com the combat in that is like some of the best like lightsaber battling battles. in a video game. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's the most important part of a Star Wars game. Yeah. It's your destiny to reach the tower or die trying. When Panzer Dragoon Remake launches first on Nintendo Switch as a timed console exclusive today. Oh wow, that's cool. Cool. I know that has a huge a like cult following. Nintendo Switch. So some people are happy about that. Okay. <laughs> oh, User. is there a, is there a DJ mode in this game? This looks like a DJ game. <laughs> that's what I want. Okay. The Android game. <laughs> Warhammer. Okay. Nice. I will not be playing this. Yeah, probably not. Bohemia Interactive. Oh. Uh, I've heard things about Vigor. It's supposed to be good. Race screen. Oh, this looks fun. Oh, nice. <laughs> Trials of Cold Steel. Trails. Trails. Alright. <laughs> nice. Is it Dig Dug? Maybe. Cool. Well, it's been fun. But One more thing? Nintendo Direct Mini isn't over yes, yet. good. Yeah. Okay. This yeah. is our last like, news we got of the time. Day. Okay, what is it? What is it? What is it? Aha! Uh -huh. oh. Yeah, that makes sense. On the Are the, is it going to come out today? And Pokemon Shield expansion pass. Ooh. This isn't supposed to come out until summer. With expansion pass, the world of the Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield games will grow. The sprawling island in the sea, the Isle of Armor and the frozen snowscape known as the Crown Tundra will be accessible in the Gala region. Uh, cool. It's a new adventure to embark on with new people to meet along oh, the way. Cool. That was a new Today gym leader. Yeah. information about part one, the Isle of Armor. 
I'm excited for this. On the Isle of Armor lies a dojo for Pokemon battles, where trainers gather to master their oh, skills. Cool. Oh, cool. And if you train Is that a new guy? You will receive yeah. the legendary Pokemon... Kubfu. <laughs> wow. I love it. Oh my gosh. Let's go. He's the so cute. In this challenge, you will enter one of two towers. The Tower of Darkness or the Tower of Waters. Cool. Okay. You may only choose one. Ooh. And you oh. and Kubfu must face this challenge alone. Oh, oh that's cool. If you conquered one of the towers, Kubfu will be wow. <laughs> If you choose the Tower of Darkness, it will learn single strike style. But if you choose the Tower I of love Waters, that. it will learn rapid strike style. Whoa. Dark or water. The choice is yours and yours alone. Beyond that, the evolved form of your partner Pokemon, be it Rillaboom, Cinderace, or Inteleon, will gain a Gigantamax form as a reward. Finally! Whoa! Of armor. So, let's take a look at each Pokemon's Gigantamax form moves. Beating a giant drum yes. and controlling his Oh, that's so cool. It's G-Max drum solo. Kicking a giant ball of fire to deliver a powerful shot, it's G-Max fireball. And blasting the opponent with water from 130 feet up. Oh, that's super cool. Hydro snipe. Oh man. These moves are stronger than I need to get this moves. at some point. And yeah. Used, oh, it's so the good. The abilities have no effect when they're attacking. That's cool. Yeah. So in the. In to new I can talk about this in a second. Okay. Styles, yeah. We can talk a little bit more when this ends. New lead yeah. card backgrounds, effects, and frames. Nice. Now you'll have even more customizations to use to show off your personality. Nice. Pokemon Sword Expansion Pass and Pokemon Shield Expansion Pass Part uh, 1, the ooh. Isle of Armor, okay. will launch by the end of June. Also, for those of you who purchased the Expansion Pass, we've prepared this early purchase bonus yeah, you can cool. receive by August 31st. Nice. Starting now I can today, look just like Leon. battles in the wild area, You'll have a higher chance of encountering the Gigantamax forms of Copperasia oh. and Duraludon in Pokemon Sword. Oh, cool. Nice. And Garbodor and Charizard in Pokemon Shield. Oh, wow. Battle with other trainers to take on this challenge together. That's cool. That's all for today's Yay. Nintendo Direct Mini. Thanks for watching. You're welcome. Well, that was fun. That was fun. We're actually done, right? Yeah. <laughs> I love that. Cub Fu, yeah. Okay, Great. so in, in the, the new Pokemon games, there's Dynamax and a Gigantamax. Okay, of um, course. Which is, it's very confusing sure. if you, like, aren't reading up on, on the difference between the two. Okay. Um, because you'll you'll see gym leaders use both of them, and they mm -hmm. especially start to use uh, Gigantamax later in the game, which is a better one because like the thing said, um, yeah, it's just I don't know, it's more powerful. You can like ignore um, certain conditions of the opposing Pokemon, um, but it, it's like it's super hard for you to get it. But these gym leaders oh. use it against you all the time, and so you're sure. like, what? How do I? How do I do it? And especially if you're like using your starter Pokemon as like your main sure like battler like your starter pokemon doesn't have a, gig a gigantamax form okay but now they do that's cool for some money yeah <laughs> you pay some money and then your your cool uh milady guy will get better <laughs> <laughs> oh man cool. all, all three of the starters in that game are so good they're, okay they're, they've they did a really good job with them like that's cool they're they're all very powerful in their like in their own ways yeah yeah that's fun Cool. Yeah. Any, I mean, other than the Pokemon, did anything else stand out to you? That, that um, Ninja Battle Royale game. Totally. Nin really, really fun. Ninjalo? Was that what it's called, I think? Yeah, something like that. Um, I don't yeah. remember. Um, Ninjala. Ninjala. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it looks like, like, I don't know, the art style is kind of like a, a, a Splatoon. Yes, yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, and there's it it looks great. Like yeah, elements of platforming, elements of fighting. Yeah. 
Yeah. Um, Magic gumballs. <laughs> yeah. On like a, like a similar vein to that, I want I want to try playing arms. Yeah. Uh, just to see if we like it. That'd yeah, we should give it a shot. Um, and then let's not forget from the very beginning, um, Borderlands and Bioshock. Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. In- I'm interested to see how they'll look on the Switch. Yeah. Um, because I like already have some i've had some performance issues with borderlands specifically sure um even on the ps4 which yeah. was like it didn't make me feel great yeah so it, it looked like they've just like they've really like scaled it down just like the some of the some of the assets in that trailer yeah just like looked a little different and yeah, like yeah. Looked like le- there's just like less polygons in them probably yeah i'm sure they um, didn't like upscale it past i don't know 720 yeah, yeah. which is which is fine. It's a cartoony right. art style. I can handle right. that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Bioshock, I think, should still run fine, right? I think so. I don't know why why it wouldn't. I mean, it's completely like single player. Um, yeah. And from the looks of it, it still looks great. I mean, like you could tell a quality difference with Bioshock. I can't really notice anything in the um, with. Sorry, you could tell a quality difference with Borderlands. I can't really tell anything with Bioshock. And that yeah, that makes yeah. sense. Yeah. So I don't and I'm I'm excited to be able to like go play Bioshock anywhere. Yeah. Um I think like with a lot of like single player campaign games, the having the switch just like helps me progress through it because you, yep. you feel less like you need to like carve do out time right to now. go yep. sit in front of your machine and do it. You can just like boot it up and play yeah. and then like if you're like, Oh, this campaign's gonna take me a minute, then like I can do this later. Right, um, right. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, I also feel better about this because both of them were like both Bioshock and Borderlands were free on PS plus. Yeah. So like I haven't paid for them recently. So I feel a little better about paying for them now to get them on the switch. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. I still have not gotten Borderlands three. Me neither. Me neither. I'm going to, I, yeah, I feel like that's a game that will be pretty cheap in the near yep. future and so i'm just gonna wait yeah I, I didn't i didn't feel a, a mad desire to do it now yeah me um anything else catch your eye i mean tabletop look kind of fun yeah. i want to i want to look into that more i want a demo of it yeah. before i spend money on it it kind of looked just like um like they literally took some of the games from uh what was that game called the not Wii Sports, but the Wii, the one that you got the extra controller with. Yes. Um, uh, we play. Was that it? We play. Yeah. Was that it? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Like, like yeah. they had the tank game. Yep. They had uh, <laughs> the fishing game. It, yeah. It, it looked a lot like they took some things from that, some things from Wii Sports, repackaged them, and then added yeah. a bunch of other games. I think the most important part of that game is going to be the online play. Definitely. And which games are actually online yep. play compatible right um because if you know if the good ones are also online play compatible then i think that game has a life yeah, but yeah. If, if you find a game you really like and then you can't play it with your friends that, that like, that's the worst feeling right right especially like right now did it did it come out today um i thought it was coming out in may i don't oh, know oh yeah 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 june oh oh jesus okay yeah i was gonna say like if that came out today and like we're stuck in our houses and i was like hey do you want to play like kind of what you're doing with colonist like yeah like if you and i wanted to play a board game together we could do it on this yes and this is the perfect time they probably should have tried to make this release today but who knows what's going on if the game's not ready it's not ready don't put them out yeah but yeah that looks interesting yeah um those were the big ones for me. Uh... Oh, and Animal Crossing. I'm excited yeah, well, about that. Yes, yeah. yes. That, and I'm yeah. sure we'll, we'll get more and more updates on that. And I'm really excited to, like, as the year goes on, keep getting updates yeah. about yeah. what's going to keep showing up in Animal Crossing. Yeah. It's really exciting. That's, that's one of the really cool things. It's very exciting opening up the game and seeing what's like new for that day, whether it's like a new character that's come to the island or if Tom Nook's like, here's a new thing that I didn't, you didn't know you could do and now you can do. Like yep. I, yesterday I got like, I can customize the design of my phone and that was just like a little thing, but I was so excited about that. And then you probably, you probably spent like five or 10 minutes just like messing yep. around with it, right? I did. Yeah. I did. Yep. Exactly. Yep. Yeah, and that's great. 
That's great. Cool. Yeah, cool. All well, right. that, I think that's all I have. That's all I've got. Thanks so, for doing this little uh, mini-sode with me. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, uh, listeners and viewers, for coming and, and enjoying this little direct with us. Uh, we just wanted to put this together. And uh, yeah, we'll see you for the next episode of The Lonely Fanboys. Lonely Fanboys. Uh, <laughs> close enough. <laughs> all right, I'll talk to you later. All right, talk to you too. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye.